know, you knew it was only going to be a matter of time. But here it is, first one I've seen. 7.3 Swamp Square Body Chevy. Hey guys, it's Sid with SVTPerformance.com and I am here in absolutely beautiful Bowling Green, Kentucky for NMRA World Finals and the Holly Intergalactic Ford Fest. I'm going to take you guys for a little walk through the vendor area. But right now, what I'm really focusing on is all the 7.3 stuff that has come out in the last year. I know. Uh, there's been a lot of naysayers on the Godzilla platform saying that it'll never take off. Well, I think things are changing just a little bit, and uh, this may be proof of it. Got a square body Chevy here, 7.3 Godzilla Swamp, pretty clean install. Had to space the throttle body out a little bit to clear the hood. But other than that, a lot of just factory Ford stuff. The ECU tucked over here on the fender well nicely. Pretty clean setup, and this is the guys over at uh, Mars Auto, and they're selling, you know, Coyote kits and 7.3 kits to basically just swap in anything you need. So here on test stand, they can fire this thing up if they want to. 7.3 hooked to a 10R80 with their 7.3 10R80 control pack. It makes this thing a whole lot easier to swap. As you can see, you got a first gen Bronco right here with one in it. Fits in there nicely. And the big thing is 7.3 fits in a lot of stuff where Coyote is tough. 7.3 will fit in there easily. And I got a lot more to show you. There's a ton of stuff here this year. It's amazing what a difference one year makes as far as progress of companies coming out with new parts and everything. So keep walking, I'll show you what I mean. So this is sort of what I'm talking about with the Coyote stuff. So it's a beautiful, classic F100, Coyote swapped, and it fits in here, but just look how tight everything is, especially around your steering shaft here, having to work the headers around that. This, Coyote is just in all the four valve modulars. They're super wide engines. They're actually wider than a big block. So it creates a lot of unique uh, just fitment issues where the pushrod 7.3 in these older trucks are basically a bolt ends because they all came with pushrod V8s and sort of what they're made to accept. 7.3 works really well in that application. So carrying right along with the theme, the badge kind of gives it away on this one, which is a nice touch. 67 F100. And of course, under the hood, 7.3. Plenty of room on this truck, hood clearance wise, for this factory manifold. So, not a problem there. But you'll see that with a lot of trucks, uh, a lot of the super duty type things that's uh, just the nature of the beast on these fits fine with these older trucks. So. Got a nice VAD system on this one, too. A pretty good looking setup. Beautiful truck, too. Check out this interior. Really, really nice TMI seat, stick shift, nice stitch dash. Looks really good. Very nice truck. So you guys probably remember last year, Mass Motorsports was here with quite a few uh, 7.3 builds. The piece de resistance was the uh, one topped with the Harrop Supercharger, you know, supercharger company TVS out of Australia. This looks like they've got a uh, Hillborn style stack fuel injection system on this one. But over here, one of my favorite body styles, a Ford truck. And check this thing out. 7.3 with their billet intake manifold on here. That is sick. I like the uh, valve covers too. Really, really nice. Fits in here perfectly. Looks like it belongs. I mean, what more could you ask for? I like how they got the Ford Racing intake here, working with it. But that's just another perfect example. This thing fits in here perfectly. And that's the big advantage on the trucks. You get to work around, you don't really have to work around sort of the limitations that's built into this because it's a super duty engine. You know, the deep oil pan, things like that, intake manifolds, even though know, this one does have an aftermarket intake. When you put these in a truck, that's what it's made for. So it's a whole lot easier to swap than you would think. And finally, we come to Indy Power Products. You've probably seen a lot of their stuff on uh, Evan Smith's YouTube channel. Evan's worked with us a lot in the past on articles, things like that over on SVTP. 
but they also have on a stack fuel injection system their coil covers which are really yeah. nice and they've got a bunch of different versions of this and their front cover setup so you can run different styles of uh, fiat systems on this thing way way after market friendly so here it is with their front cover throttle body adapter fuel rails things like that a lot of a uh, lot of options for them and of course they have their lower oil pan kit that basically makes it easier to run this thing in a car so you don't have to run the super deep oil pan that comes on it from the uh, factory setup and it's not just a simple uh oil pan bolt-on because the way ford has these oil pumps set up on these engines a lot of the uh oil routing goes through basically the oil pan so even though this one you can't really tell it here because it doesn't have the sandwich adapter on it i don't actually see one laying around here these things actually come with a sandwich adapter that goes between this rail and the bottom of the block that has all the oil routing run through it so that's why they can get away with it basically just being flat here things like that moving on around they have their carbureted intake manifold for it so if for whatever reason you want to run a carb on your 7.3 you can and check out the cross section of these runners on this thing a lot of plenum volume on this and deep too so nice dual plane setup some of their different options for their coil covers and then another one set up over here with just like a little carbon fiber looking cover over the factory manifold with their turn down for the throttle body pretty nice setup this is of course on a test stand so they can fire this thing up not too bad at all to prove everything out they have this Fox Buddy here set up for the autocross course with a Pro Charger on a 7.3 with a big billet intake manifold. This thing is sick. Have their billet valve covers. A lot of, a lot, a lot of custom work on it. I mean, just check out that suspension. Really nice setup on this car. When it comes to 7.3 swaps in cars, I'm sure you guys have seen Paul's from Paul High Performance. His basically right. Godzilla Cobra jet that he's built himself and racing that you can see with this intake in a Mustang there's uh gonna have a hood all the nitrous in the world from nitrous outlet though on this one and if you're interested in how they fit into a Fox chassis you got a Thunderbird looks like it used to be a turbo coupe now she's Godzilla powered Got the manifolds turned around here. I'm guessing at some point, this thing is gonna be a turbo setup. Not bad at all. But again, with that factory manifold, they've had to do just a little bit, just a tickle of hood clearancing to get it to work. But so you guys are familiar with coyote swaps in fox mustangs you know how close the valve covers come to these towers and the brake booster master cylinder assembly and everything there's a little bit of a difference when you go with push rod motor it's just there's a more compact formula these are definitely bigger than old school uh small block fords as far as you know width and height but that's to be expected with that added displacement plus keeping all the meat you need around the cylinders but hey it fits and once the intakes start rolling out i'm really looking forward to holly coming out with like a low ram or mid ram for one of these then we'll really be cooking i'd probably keep an eye on that radiator hose though that looks a little kinked but not a bad setup overall now, if you guys are interested in seeing a full race setup will's performance is here with their fox body no, mine is a with a 7.3, of course, and big crank-driven Pro Charger, VTR intake manifold, you know. You guys have seen this all over the internet, but this is their build that they've been working on for quite a while. So it's not just for trucks. So that's sort of just a taste of the 7.3 stuff that's here on property that I can just walk around and find real quick, but there's a lot of it. So engine's really taking off, getting more popular for swaps. 
especially in trucks, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, cars, it's going to take a while for that to come around yet, I think. We're going to need more products from companies like uh, Indy Power, more oil pan options, you know, just things like that. But as far as tuning, swap kits, things like that, they're coming. If you've got a classic Ford truck, 7.3 is getting to be a pretty good option because Ford sells those things dirt cheap. They're sticking them in every UPS truck and FedEx truck you can imagine, as well as U-Haul, things like that. So they're out there. Not only that, uh, I think it's Amazon is buying the Ford F-350, uh, sorry, F-53 uh, chassis that, you know, usually motorhome chassis, they're taking that chassis, converting it to electric, and making delivery trucks out of it. And they're pulling perfectly good, brand new, basically, 7.3 drivetrains out. And the company that's doing that conversion is selling those things to dirt cheap. So if you're looking to pick up a motor, you can get one. But we're going to have way, way more from Holly Ford Fest and NMRA World Finals. I'll take you guys for a walk to the vendor section here in a bit. When it gets uh, calmed down just a bit and then tomorrow I'm going to go walk through the car show because it is enormous. I want you guys to see what's going on there. It's a really great event and if you ever get the opportunity, definitely head to Bowling Green, Kentucky in late September. You will not regret it.